And welcome back, this is Bobby Scoopo with more Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I'm joined, as always, by my aircraft carrier squad of Bart's Reina Galath and Ferris. When we last left off, Reina was a ninja, but, uh, well, not a ninja, she was a thief, which is kind of like a ninja if you think about it. But, I have changed her back to a samurai, we are done stealing for now. Uh, we are still on the giant boat here with Ziza because we like... Well, weirdness so far. Can you get to the other side of this box? I can, and it has opened a switch here. Now, I did not rest before we did this, but I should still be fine. How you doing, Ziza? Come on! And we have made it into a submarine, which was hidden underneath the aircraft carrier. Oh, well, I guess you could say it's just a giant boat, but still, I'm calling it an aircraft carrier. What is this? The fleet's only a decoy. We'll get into the tower by submarine through the ocean floor. Now I get it. The tunnel to the tower is ready. Come on. And there we go in our submarine. Not the first submarine that we have seen in Final Fantasy, but still. Unexpected. Rest here. Uh, where are these chairs? That doesn't seem like is very comfortable at all but we can actually rest down here as you might have seen I do need to rest so here we go let's sleep sideways in the chairs those are still very very clearly chairs yeah I wanted to show that off and we all do a spin and a jump to show we are ready to take on the day I guess I do not wake up that way I roll Let's just head out of here and get back! What? What are you gonna do? Do you wanna join my party? We could use... A man with explosives! You always need a guy with explosives. He is part of any 11-man team. What? Rest here? <laughs> no, I don't need to rest here. What the hell's wrong with you? But we have made it into the barrier tower. Barrier tower? Right. If we can destroy this, the barrier will disappear. I'm going to the power room below. You go to the top, to the antenna. The antenna? Right. You blow it up while I stop the power. And I assume that he has given us some form. Yeah, yeah, here. You'll need this. Yes. We've received whisper grass. Whisper grass hurts my mind, so I'm not going to fully describe it. Hopefully, Ziza will describe what it is. What's this? Use it to stay in communication with me. Now move. I'm just going to leave it at that. It was grass, though. I will say that. It was grass. It was grass. He gave us grass. Ugh. Good luck. <laughs> Damn you, game. Why are you so weird? Let's just, uh... Actually, let's head down here. Or we can get into a fight. That would be nice as well. We can get to a fight with a Neon. Of course there are no enemies here. Why wouldn't there be no enemies? I, I don't know. Smack somebody upside the face. That's what you're good for, Gala. And then you can probably just smack this thing. I forgot what she got on you. But that would probably be nice. Down it goes. Really freaking quick. Yes, you get 312 gil, 150 experience, and one ability point, and Gallif has gained a job level from that. He has now uh, gotten red 2. He can move uh, both uh, level 2 white and black magic forward. Uh, but we're just going to leave him on that for now. Uh, up here is just a save point. I don't need to use it. I don't think there's anything out back. Oh, there is something out back. This I almost forgot about. Is there another new enemy here for us to take on? No. As a result of that battle, not only did I get blinded, uh, which I did cure, Ferris got blinded, I did learn another new blue magic. I forgot that that guy actually had it. Uh, we learned Flash, which costs 7 MP and, well, has a chance to blind your opponent, just like Flash in most other games. Uh, probably will not be using that very much. As you can see, we are filling out our blue magic fairly quickly here. I am very happy about that. I do like blue magic. It's not as good as this game as it is in some other games, but it is definitely a marked improvement over what is there before. Another one! 
let's move on. We can hit down here. We can get 9,000 gil. Very, very nice. Are we going to be encountering new enemies? There is at least one more here. I know it. It is the Reflect Knight. Very nice. This guy shouldn't be all that difficult, though. He does have a giant freaking axe that he cannot use well, apparently. And, yeah, just a regular fight. I don't believe Rain actually has the uh, the Dancing Dark anymore. I think I took that off for something better. But I don't really remember what it was. We'll hopefully... Well, I mean, it was kind of working out for me, but... I don't know. I might put it on somebody else. Uh, but I'm trying to test out uh, using it. Well, not using the Dancing Dark, because I, I typically use that for probably longer than I should, so... I'm going to see if I can deal without it just for now. Of course, this is a good time to try. It is just a Reflect Knight. He doesn't do much. He just has physical attacks, more or less. I don't know if he actually has Reflect casted on him. He might, so just go for physical attacks. It's not that difficult anyway. 318 gil, 175 experience, and one ability point, as you might expect. Everything is just one ability point, which makes leveling that kind of stuff up kind of frustrating, not nearly as bad as other games, though. Alright, let's do it! We got monsters in this treasure chest. Well, just a monster, but it is one hell of a monster. We have the red dragon. We got a first strike that is incredibly lucky, let me tell you. Let's go ahead and attack it for all we got. Um, what, do you, what do you have? Uh, bolt to... Uh, is he weak to ice? I can't remember. Because he's red, I'm going to assume he is. And he is. Very nice. Uh, what, what do we got? Uh, we got ice, too. I don't think I have a blue magic for, for ice. So we'll just continue attacking with regular ice and do as much damage as I can that way. This guy is no pushover. And he'll probably show why with his first attack. If he should happen to get an attack. There. There you go. Not an easy fight. That's not the hardest attack that he has, of course. That's just his damn physical attack. We almost got a full heal off of that, though. Uh, continue just to use the black magic. That is, that is definitely my strategy here. There's a reason why there's a save point really nearby. I'll probably be using it at the end of this. Simply because of all... Nope. Okay, good. Well, just a regular attack. He does have a special attack. I do not believe it is a blue magic, though. Um called Adam Ray, which, jeez, that can destroy your entire party in one hit if you're not careful. Keep everybody at max HP from this fight at all times, that I can say. Hopefully we can take him out with all this ice magic, though, not enough just yet. Come on, we got to be will willing him down. 328, that's not bad. Hopefully I can get that heal off before he gets the second turn. Like I said, uh, he can decimate my party. He can definitely do more than 347 damage with his next attack. That's for sure. That thing is ridiculous. Go for another. There it is. Adam Ray. There you go. Like I said, utter decimation if you are not ready for it. But down he goes, finally. <laughs> yes, 500 gil, 750 experience, 6 ability points. That is well worth it. That is well worth it indeed. And that's not even the best thing that you get out of that chest. 6 ability points. You also get the blood sword. Very, very nice. I will be showing that off fairly shortly. This one's not as overpowered as it was in Final Fantasy 2, so there's no reason for me to ban it. I will be equipping it and healing, and I'll be right back. Okay, well, it turns out that only the knight can equip the blood sword, so I'm going to have to avoid that for now, unfortunately. We'll level up the knight eventually, and we'll equip that. We do have another new enemy here. We have a traveler. Um, and what was I thinking? No, the, the, I, was, I did re-equip uh, Reyna with the the Dancing Dirk. Uh, unfortunately, I could not do the, uh, the Blood Sword. I am going to head back to uh, the save point so that I can heal uh, because we did use quite a bit of MP for that fight. Wow, that is quite an ability. Ferris is now old and asleep. As I'm sure happens quite often when you're old, you just fall asleep. Uh, just smack Ferris, so that'll, that'll wake her up. She'll still be old, though. She'll still be old. 
Unfortunately, it's not something that I can do to get around that. Jitterbug is not really what I had in mind. Traveler, you are quite annoying here. Quite annoying. But yeah, the Dancing Dirt is still one of my uh, best items. Uh, it turns out that the uh, the other sword that I had on, which was uh, somebody's pride, I believe, uh, that was the same battle power, but for whatever reason, the uh, the game... Wonder Walt, are you kidding me? The game thought that when uh, whenever I press the optimum button that it would equip that instead of the Dancing Dark. It just does not know me very well. 945 uh, Gale, 445 experience, 2 ability points, and we have learned Time Slip because of that, which is, of course, another blue magic. Very, very nice. Oh, it looks like we also got an item out of that. What did we get? Speed Drink. Uh, I don't use the drinks that much, but we will eventually. They're definitely in that uh, too good to use until later. You know, end game type uh, items. I do need to save here, uh, and I will be right back. The way that I had originally thought to go, which was uh, down south, out of the save point room, that actually does not lead anywhere. So this is really the only way that you can go. And we have made it outside. And we're on the third floor, apparently. Do we have new enemies now that we are outside? We do! On top of the Reflect Knights, we also have Magnets, which pulls people to the front row, which isn't that cool, to be honest with you. But hopefully we can take out the... Holy crap! Uh, smack yourself, please. If you could smack everybody at once, that would also be appreciated. We're going to need to bust out uh, some, some good magic here. Uh, can I do... Actually, time slip on... Uh, I can only do that on one person at a time. Uh, but as you saw, it did... What? Jeez, what's with all this stuff? It only allows it one at a time. That is not cool. Uh, hit him with question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah, 371. That's still more than uh, what a basically attack would have done, which is very nice. Magneto. Yeah, we're already out in the front row. That's not... That's not helping anybody. So, obviously, our first attack here is going to be... God. For the Reflect Knights, because, of course, they are... much more difficult. And that was an instant death that, um, that you might have seen there. That little flash. That means that when Bart hit it, it would have died, even if it wasn't... Um, yeah. If you just keep on casting Magneto, I'm just going to go for the guy in the back. And, of course, he's in the back row, so... It, we're not doing nearly as much damage to him, and we got lucky there, but but still, this is not going to be nearly as easy. Gallif needs to smack himself again, and I probably need to use more magic, unfortunately. Yeah, the magnet, the magni, magnetize? Yeah, you get it, the magnetize. Uh, they aren't really going to damage me at all. Let's go ahead and use some, some powerful magic, why not? I don't think it has reflect, it could. It does, fuck. Ah, uh, I should have known better. I really should have. I, I, as soon as I said I was going to hit him, I'm like, wait. No. There you go. Damn it, that's still not enough. That guy needs to die then. We only need to heal one more person, though. And then uh, hopefully we can finish that guy off before he gets his next turn. As long as Reyna is back at full health, which that should put her. And now we need to heal him. It's not that big of a deal. Once we can't... Seriously, die. You need to die. Thank you. He is dead. We are free to move on and take on these guys who want to do nothing but troll me by bringing me to the front row. But now that everything that, you know, attacks is dead, this is no longer an issue whatsoever. No longer a problem. These guys should die eventually. Jeez. Uh, that is the one of the issues with this game. I'm not sure if it's uh, technically a problem, but you need to keep it in mind that when there are enemies in the front row, um, there, are there are enemies in front of other enemies, it does count as rows for them as well. Why did I heal him? I don't have anybody to heal. I didn't do any damage to him, but still. Seems like a wasted turn. Could have used that for something else, possibly. Just smack it until it is dead. Shouldn't be too much longer here. Down it goes. Quite a long fight, a little trolley, but we were able to manage it. 
1,266 skills, 655 experience, and 2 ability points for 4 enemies. Still do not like that ratio, but there's not much that I can do about it, unfortunately. Let's just continue on. We need to head up here, up to the 4th floor. Pretty much the only way we can go. Do we have any more new enemies to show off on the outside of the tower? No, we do not. Let's continue on into the tower, onto the 4th floor. Pretty basic way that you need to go here. Do we have another new enemy now that we are back inside on a new floor? No. Let's continue on through here and out the door yet again. Stairs are only on the right this time. Up and up to the sixth floor. Do we have more new enemies on the outside? It's so dark out here. We do! We have, on top of the Traveler, we have the Gravidead. So, oh shit, well, insta-kill for the win, what do you know? Now we're just up against the Traveler, hopefully the, the Traveler doesn't try to put anybody uh, to sleep and old. Age them and sleepify them. Wonder Walt is crap and you know it. Stop doing it. It doesn't hit very hard, it is not a tough enemy, unfortunately the one that was the new enemy pretty much died straight away, so there's not much for me to show off here, but we will show it off nonetheless, we'll at least show off how much you get for defeating that enemy. I assume that it is weak both to fire and holy because it was undead. It did have dead right in the name. Yes, you get 648 kill, 325 experience, and 2 ability points, and Reyna has gained a job level, she's learned sword grab sure because sword grab i don't know if i'm ready to move her on just yet let me double check i did in fact want to switch reyna over so that she is now a monk because that only requires a hundred ability points whereas the next level of samurai need a hundred and eighty yeah did learn sword catch though which is nice it does exactly what you think it does it sometimes absorbs an attack by catching the sword which well not absorbs it stops the attack though that is interesting to say the least let's get 18,000 gil that is ridiculous more new enemies on the new floor just a new arrangement for me just a new arrangement well same one uh, 